using only base game and get together to make it more accessible to anyone who wants to download it. If you do want to download it, my gallery username is bigtimegamer underscore afk. I know it's probably the worst gallery name you've ever heard of, but I made the account when I was like 8, so don't judge me. <laughs> I'll leave it in the description below as well, but you'll have to scroll through a lot of my builds to find it, as I've uploaded a lot of builds since then. I'll also leave the name of the build in the description as well, if that will make it easier to find. I hope you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Now that I've got all that stuff out of the way, I feel like I should properly introduce myself and talk about how often I'll be uploading videos and what type of content will be on those videos. So hi, I'm Ashley, as suggested by my uh, name, my username, and I'm a student in secondary school. Obviously I uh, love Sims and I play it all the time, I obsess over the game. My favourite thing to do in the game is build, so if you come back to my channel you will mostly find speed builds and maybe an occasional cast video. I won't be uh, doing let's plays, or at least not right now, as it's a lot more editing than speeding up a build I've made, and I at least would rather have a good amount of speed builds than like one let's play episode, you know what I mean? I'm not sure how often I'll upload, as you know I want to see if this video gets enjoyed by anyone or you know if I have time to make more, so yeah. Uh, that will depend on how well it does. I've been inspired to start my channel by Lil Simsy, as I was binge watching her videos a few weeks ago and they just really inspired me to start making my own videos, so thanks Kayla. She is probably my favourite Sims YouTuber and streamer. I've been watching her videos for ages now, I can't even remember her link, it's been a while. Also, I forgot to mention that I do exclusively play on console, which I think is actually quite rare. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen another Sims YouTuber play on console more than once, maybe for like an occasional episode, video something like so. I feel like people think that console players aren't as good as PC players, but I feel like I'm pretty as good as like a lot of PC players. I am a pretty good build master. But I've introduced myself, maybe I should talk a little bit about the build because obviously that's what you're here to see. This home is a family Tudor starter, as I mentioned, which has three bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom downstairs. This home is perfect for a family of four with two parents, a child or teen and a toddler. I've not included a high chair for the toddler, but I think I have included a potty in the downstairs bathroom and a blocky in the bedroom, I think. Speaking of high chairs though, who even plays with those? It's just so much easier to leave food on the floor for them to eat. Oh, actually, I should have probably put the toddler bedroom downstairs, because they need movement skill too, I think it is, to actually get up and downstairs. Oh, I should have put the bathroom upstairs and the toddler room downstairs, but too late for that now. But anyway, at this point, I think I've finished the shell of the build. Yeah, I've finished the shell of the build. Um, as you can see, I've used the get together like Mason Me set thing. You know that you did, you know that one. Yeah, I've used like several variants of that to paint the outside. Um, to make it look more interesting instead of just having one variant. Also, I believe you've already seen this, but I put a little room in front of the door, which has like an archway going into it, so it's technically inside, but. It's kind of like outside as well at the same time. I thought that would be a fun idea. I did that at the back of the house as well. Um, I did decide to move the house to Windenburg as obviously that's the get together world. But you haven't seen that yet. That comes nearer to the end of the video I believe. So. I only make this house cost 18.5k. So even if you're moving with just a single sim that could live here without any money cheats or anything which is great. Um, for such a cheap house I am surprised I managed to spare money for landscaping as well. I'm not sure, no we haven't got to the landscaping yet, but oh well, spoilers, I suppose, but um, yeah. So very happy that I could fit a second floor onto the house, because second floors are quite expensive. Well, I mean I don't see many star turns on the gallery with a second floor, it's mostly just like cutesy bungalows, like one story houses, for, like two sims, stuff like that. So a lot of my star turns I feel are better than other people's because most of them do have two floors or, you know, nice looking bungalows. Um, I do like to do a lot of like only like base game builds and one pack maybe. So like this one is base game and get together. Another one, I know another build I've built has been base game and seasons which you'll see soon. There's another base game and get together one as well that will be coming out soon, which is another starter. Um, 
I have built a lot of just base game ones as well. There's a couple with cats and dogs and base game. But yeah, that's I don't really like to use lots of packs. So. I just heard that noise in the background. That was my house phone. So I just had to quickly go and answer that. But I'm back now anyway. So back to the build. At this point, I believe we have finished all of the furnishing. And we've just gone on to the landscaping. Also, have we moved to Windenburg yet? I don't think we've moved. Yeah, we've moved to Windenburg, I think, actually. So yeah, it looks a lot better in Windenburg. It looks a lot better because I put it in Newcrest originally on a 30 by 20, which looked terrible. So, but on Newcrest, I put it on that one that's like by the the thing, you know, <laughs> by the cliff. I don't even know how to describe it. It's by the docks, I think. It's the docks in Windenburg. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But um, anyway, yeah, it looks so much better either way. Um, about the furnishing, I'm really glad. With, I'm really happy with the furnishing. So I only had like, I think there was about 10,000 to furnish. So I did use the cheapest kitchen and bathroom appliances, but I did use nice games within the kitchen and cabinets, upper cabinets. I used two upper cabinets and the expensive counters, not the most expensive, they're like the third most expensive ones that come in base game, I think. So yeah, I was really happy that I could use them, because I mean, I mean, it was kind of a waste of money to be fair, but like, it really fit the theme of Tudor style, so yeah, I thought it was really fitting, so. Um, Upstairs is not the best furnished though, downstairs is a lot better looking. Um, yeah, also downstairs though, oh, sorry I forgot to mention with the living room. Um, I use quite an expensive couch, I think that cost like 450 like 500 maybe. I did only use one, there wasn't much space, but there is like a nice window by the living room I believe, so it's, it's much cheaper than like artwork on the walls. So you can look out onto like, stuff, you know, look at the view. Um, upstairs there is on the landing a computer and desk, um, and then in the master bedroom there is the only a bed and a dresser. In the kids in the kids room there's literally just the bed, and then in the toddler room there's um Blarfy and a bed. So I didn't use the cheapest bed for the toddler. I don't think I use that nice wooden one. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. Um, so I think the video is nearly over. Actually, hang on, let me check. Oh yeah, it's over. Actually, we're into the screenshots now. So. I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, please give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time, goodbye everybody. Actually sorry, just before I go, I wanted to apologise if the audio is bad, like, I was very scared to do this voiceover, um, but I have got a bad mic as well, so I'll have to get a new one, but sorry about that, hope you still enjoy.